Hi, welcome to another episode of My Days with Kit. Today we're going to get Kit's first fairy year visit and have her hooves trimmed. Farrier is the technical term for a horseshoe, hoof trimmer, whatever. I mean, uh, somebody that takes care of your horse's feet. This would be a hoof knife. You use it to take the you knife your dead sole out. It's just one of the tools you can use to, to get the dead material out of their foot. This is your nippers. It's like your big fingernail clippers. And this is your file which is a rasp. I mean, the, it's actually commonly called a rasp, so, but it's just a large file. It's a hoof rasp. And uh, you use it to smooth everything up whenever you get through. They're really pretty simple tools and they're really, it's a pretty simple procedure and it's pretty easy to do, but the problem is, is getting everybody to communicate and get along and do the job without somebody being injured or somebody making a misjudgment on where they trim, or, I mean, that's the main thing that you try to do is you get somebody to shoe your horse that, or trim your horse that's um, a competent farrier that is going to do a job that's going to maintain the health of the animal for the duration of his life. I'm actually gonna start with the back swing because she can stand longer on it. I mean, with, she keep her balance on her front feet better than if I'm trying to make her balance on her back feet. She's, how old is this feeling? Yeah, see, so she's still a little bit awkward. Little baby. Little baby. I know, I know. Don't be nervous. Don't be worried. She's just not used to standing with her foot up this long. Mainly we're just trimming the dead tissue away from the bottom of her foot, just like you would if you were trimming your fingernail. What's challenging about it a lot of times is the horse isn't used to it so a lot of times they're not necessarily going to stand because they don't really know what's going on and you need to be very patient and allow them to figure out part of what part of it and and if you she's done the, her homework real well with this baby because she's standing really good for what a lot of babies do. Matter of fact, she's as good as any of them I've ever trimmed, so. Now we've trimmed dead tissue off. We're going to round up the edges on this foot so that it doesn't catch the sharp edge and fray the edge of the wall and cause it to chip off at an abnormal rate. We're gonna clean it up a little bit here. Make it a little prettier, a little more presentable, but mainly the main thing we're doing is we're actually trying to fix it where it'll wear off a little more evenly if it does break off on its own. Usually trim horses feet somewhere between four and eight weeks depending on the environment they have the feed program they have all the influences of <coughs> the influence hoof growth um, there's a lot of things that influence that moisture nutrition exercise uh, though those are the three main things that actually uh, influence how much growth there is to a foot. So basically, you start trimming them as soon as you can. As soon as you can get them to where they're ready to trim.
once again we're taking the dead tissue off the frog. This frog actually had gotten a little hard and a little long and was growing off to the was actually growing off to the side and wasn't actually getting the shed out because it had got into such a dehydrated state that it wouldn't turn loose of itself. Most frogs shed out ever at least three to four times a year on their own out in the wild. <coughs> but we're gonna help it that pretty much every time that we trim her to the extent that we clean it up so that it doesn't get twisted sideways and rip itself out and create a lameness issue. And we're mostly just gonna trim this foot nice and flat to smooth the level because we don't have any issues that are obvious that need to be she needs any help correctly. She's a really good footed, good legged little mare. Oh, they have to get to where you can pat their feet and you know, they get gentled down enough that you can pick up all their feet and hold them and hold them up and clean their feet out and things like that. I mean, you get everything in my business. We get everything from not halter broke at all, never been touched to horses that stand there and hold their feet up for you. So it helps a whole lot for the owner or the handler to have the horse where you can actually walk up and ask him to pick his foot up and at least he'll not be scared of you whenever you run your hand down their leg. <coughs> if you can touch their feet and they can stand still while you do that, it usually makes it easier for the for the farrier to work on their feet. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. too hard with her, okay? Just keep asking her. Pet her on the face. Just pet her face. Just take her and walk her around over there just a minute. Just walk her in some circles. Just lead her and then bring her back up here and we'll turn her the other direction. Just go let her move around a minute. And just come right on around the pen and then you'll be going the right direction. Just kind of walk on so that she's got somewhere to go. So when she gets here, she thinks she's not so, she, she's ready to stand still a little better. She just got a little bit bored. Yeah, I just laid her right on up here. That's good right there.
and, you, and rub her head on you while we're working. I'll just kind of do something to kind of get her off of you just a little. Mm -hmm. Don't do any more than you have to. But if she goes pushing on you, she's pulling on me. Okay. She's going to be using me as leverage to push on you. good. She was really good. That's not abnormal for a yearling that hasn't ever been trimmed. She stood real well. You did a really good job with this man. You really did. And uh, I guess we just need to sit, we need to trim her again here probably in about six weeks I would say. Uh, you probably go eight weeks pretty easy. Well thank you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching this episode of My Days with Kit, and we'll see you next time.